All right. Good morning. Welcome to Lendo Podcast Culture Talk inside the store. Morning. Thank El- you. Elna. <laughs> Elna Stice in the building. What's up? Hey, I'm good. It's been a minute. Yeah. You have not been around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You have not been around for a while. Yeah, it's true. So what's up? Uh, what's up with the name Elna? Uh, it was Elna, and then now the star. Yes. What's up with the star? <laughs> yeah, you're a superstar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Elna Star. Actually, yeah. a friend of mine has been calling me that. Star? Yeah, Elna Star. Oh. For like four years now. Wow. So recently I watched a movie, hmm. Thug Life. Oh. Yes. <laughs> so that movie. the movie was something else. The man gave power uh, to every child's name. Okay. There was, um, there was Star. Mm. There was um, Sakani, which means joy, mm. and there was Seven, which means perfection. Yeah. So I just fell in love with the name again. So I just wow. Elna Star. That's uh, I am light. <laughs> and a star. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's nice. So, yeah. um, how's the music? <sighs> I see you have like um one powerful song out. The song is yeah. is fire. <laughs> like uh, I, I think the first day I heard the song, uh, I played like fifty times. <laughs> wow! And I just kept on playing it, <laughs> like this vibe. And I was playing it. There's a lot of people were uh, like around me. Mm. Everybody just loves the song. Oh! So the, uh, that's a great song. Thank you. We need another, and another, and of course, another. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> so how did you? Uh, how did you board that song? How did you create that sound? Mm, well, it wasn't easy, actually. I mm. think I wrote the song about three years now. Wow. Yeah, 2017. If wow. I'm not mistaken. That's a minute. Yeah. But I wasn't the only person that wrote the mm. song. Oh, but okay. It came as a result of emotional... <laughs> drama <laughs> <laughs> wow wow yes that's nice i like it when people make music about like um things that really like get to them mm. if you get to say the way it is yeah and then there's other people that are actually going through similar stuff and you'll probably relate yes I actually relate to the song not because i have <laughs> <laughs> Tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> because I have like uh, same ish, but then I knew it was coming from a real place, and the sound was fire. Mm, thank you. So I was commend your effort for that. Thank you. Yeah. Um. You're the first female. Wow. On the podcast, so this Ooh. is such this is such a big episode for <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah, because I like already have people like uh, um hitting me up okay. why don't you have why don't you have a lady on the podcast why don't you invite a lady i'm like what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> so uh thank you uh thank you for coming pleasure is all mine again um what do you think about like ladies um making music like from this place because obviously we don't have enough yeah yeah and then uh, it happens that when uh, there's like one lady, she maybe one lady tries to get a song out or two or a couple of them, mm. and then um, she disappears, and then we don't get to hear from her again. I don't know what really is the problem, but then we've been having like this issue for a minute now, and then. That is why I've been struggling to get like a female okay. <laughs> on the podcast. So no uh, very uh, much options. What's the problem? Well, now, it's really not easy as a lady to go into music, especially from the north. Mm. The thing is, you want to do music, but you have little or no support at all sometimes. 
sometimes you could get restrictions from home mm. and all of that sometimes the lady starts music and gets married and that's the end you get i'm not saying those who are married don't get support or their music career um it's hard dies <laughs> but it's hard it's difficult except to get someone who 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 understands. who understands who is willing to support you so you can move on with your career and for girls down here i don't really know what the problem is mm. but speaking of misha yeah how did you summon <laughs> all the courage <laughs> and then say okay i'm ready i'm going to do this because so, i know you for a minute i know like you can s- you could sing like have a very very fire voice and you actually write well too mm. but then uh you didn't actually like come out and say okay i'm an artist right now i'm going to be my own artist because i know you used to like do like little features for people yeah uh, little appearances yes, yeah. on songs but then you never had your own song and yeah. then boom like there's this fire song out to as well so um how did you like uh how did you deal with it because i know maybe there's fear yes of course of like yes. acceptance and yeah. stuff so how did yeah. you overcome that okay it wasn't easy for me actually mm. i started it for long i would start and stop start and stop but i just had to sit myself down and talk some senses to myself this is what i love doing yeah this i feel this is my life this is what i'm best at yeah so if i don't risk it now i think there won't be any other chance to risk mm. it so i had someone whatever kind of courage yeah. that i needed to to tell myself that i'm going into music fully yeah. if it works out for me fine if it doesn't fine even though i don't want to have any negative mindset that it will not work, work out yeah. so i just have to be, be positive all the time yes all the time mm. so that's it well how do you create your songs like how do you write i love to ask okay. creative guys this question to be very honest mm. to be very honest i write based on inspiration well wow. it comes and goes mm. for some people i would say they are talented in writing at any time mm. you ask them to write they are just ever ready to write yeah. but for people like me someone like me mm. um when i get inspired to write that's when i write probably i just look up and see it, the sky is looking so beautiful i can't decide to write something about it yeah. you get i don't just write am i not looking good you said to write about me you said to write about me say please. the inspiration <laughs> i pray you hear that inspiration amen oh that's nice um do you prefer like uh, performing your music or do you prefer like um um creating the song like the process of writing being in the studio and um working on the sound and then the mix and song is out or you just pref- you prefer to like perform to people um i actually love both okay yeah which do you love the most <laughs> the love is equal <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> oh. I love to perform for people, mm. yeah, and then as well go to the studio, work, and all of that. But um, sometimes the studio can be boring for me. Why? The whole process doing this, you know, there's there's this fire that comes. Mm. So when you go to the studio, you start recording or you start working on 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 the sound. They yeah. tell you to stop. They will try to do this. Tell it to stop. It kills me. Yeah. So I actually do like a uh, process of like beat making. Yeah. I, I'm never there. <laughs> Just make the the beat. If I love it, I'll work on it. If I don't, Be I don't so. want to be there because I get um tired of sound. Mm. Too much sound. You mess me up. Oh. So if I keep on hearing sound 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 especially the same sound mm. i get tired yeah. i just want to come to the studio to record and get out mm. that is what i want to do in the studio not so the process of making the beats you have to do the hook 
you have to get the right sound they have to mix this uh, oh man <laughs> it's too much it's not easy it's too much but then it's, it's something that um is actually needed so it has to be done though whether it's easy or it's not it's not easy what we're doing is not easy but it we have to not. do it we don't have a choice <laughs> <laughs> See, we don't have a choice. We have a choice, of course. What choice? To do it. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, yeah. Yeah, the choice yeah. is to do it. So I think sort of like a, an album or you just want to keep on like putting out like singles, 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 singles. Mm. Do you feel do you feel ready like for an wow. album? Um, not really. So say. What's your idea of an album like? How is an album supposed to sound? Uh I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Some people say, okay, if I'm doing an album, I should have this type of music on it. Oh, I should have okay. this type of music. I should have this type. Of Some people feel like an album is supposed to be like uh, about some. So it's supposed to be like there's a story from the first song to the end. It's supposed okay. to be in this sequence. It's supposed to be in this format. Like everybody has like different idea about an album. Okay. Well, for me. I've never thought of having an album. I said even if I was going to do music, I don't want to have an album. Why? That's every that is <laughs> that is that is everybody's dream. I don't know, but to have an album like a fire album. But for me, I don't I prefer singles, probably an, an EP. That's an album too. Oh really? Yeah, that's a small album. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> That's a small album. That's better, actually. An EP is an album. Okay. An album is like a com- compilation. So an EP is... Uh, I think EP is extended, extended play. play. Mm-hmm. So it's supposed to be like... Uh, maybe one song is not enough. Then you have two or three or four. Or even five. Some people have five. Some people mm-hmm. have like seven songs. And they say it's an EP. Oh. Yeah, it's still an album though. So when are you going to put out an EP? Soon. <laughs> <laughs> soon. You said soon. Yeah. Soon. How soon? I can't say for now, but let's just keep hoping. Oh. Soon. Okay. Mm. What do you think ladies should do? Ladies that are out there that actually have like, um, they have this gift. You can actually sing. They can actually um do something that's going to move people but then they are still holding back because of what they believe is attached to the industry and because of what people will say because of what the society has actually decided to label entertainers well what i have to say is you just have to take the big risk mm. because at the end of the day it will be worth it oh yeah and first of all, you just have to believe in yourself first. Mm. No one else would do that for you. Yeah. So if you don't believe in yourself that you can do this, you will make it out of it, out of the music. Mm. I'm not sure it's going to work out for you. Even if you have thousands of people motivating you to do it. Yeah. If you don't believe in yourself, there's no way you can do it. So to all the young ladies out there mm. who are into music, please come out. Come out. Do something out of the box. You are, you are listening to how. <laughs> <laughs> we want to hear you. It's time to take over. Mm-hmm. To change the kind of music yeah. people listen to. Mm. And t- to express ourselves. Amen. This is the time. <laughs> <laughs> I, so, like, I like it. believe I like in it. yourself. You can do it. Mm. It's not easy. But you just have to make that decision. That you have to take that big risk. Yeah. It will not be easy. People might criticize. Of course, that one is a normal thing. No. You probably might not get support. Mm. And don't have this fear of rejection. Okay, what if they don't accept me? What if they don't like my kind of music? Mm. Sweetheart, if you don't believe in yourself first, if you don't trust that you can do this, yeah. no one else will for you. I've always said, um, you, know, you should you should um focus concentrate on what you can what you have power yeah to manipulate Mm. and what you have power to manipulate is um your work the work you put in yeah but 
people accepting you or people uh, not accepting you i think uh, that is that that is something you don't have absolute control over yes yes like you could you could do everything you could like even do it well and people still don't like you yeah so true. it happens like that so what you can do is make the music the best way you could actually do it yeah and then the rest will just take care of itself yes if it's positive fine if it's not positive you keep on working that is i think that is uh the mindset we all should have like as entertainers yes, yes. just do what you could do the, the the rest that you cannot do just uh just let it yeah just let it so not cost. doing it and saying um because people aren't going to show me this love or this amount of love that, that's terrible mm. i've met somebody that said um he's not going to put out like a, uh, a lot of materials out because he actually feels more people should be giving him attention and he's not getting the attention so oh. he's not just going to put out like a bunch of materials out because uh people are not actually vibing to his sound or stuff i'm like what the fuck <laughs> just make the music put it out like that is that's the list and the best you could do yeah just do your own part and then if people actually buy into what you're doing it's not for you to decide that it's true yeah so i think we should like work on like our mindset and what this is about if i want to like make a um a record and put it out i just make the song and make sure i like the song mm. that's the only thing i need to do yes i yes. just make sure i like the song if yeah. i like the song i really feel good before i decide to put it out for other people to listen yeah if i feel good about it <laughs> i don't that's give a fuck matters. i don't give a fuck i just put it out if they like it that's a bonus like i feel extra good mm. because other people actually like what i like yeah. if they don't like it i already come to terms with that like oh, i know everybody's <laughs> not going to like it so i feel good about it though yeah. even though some people are so um critical and they actually criticize you and they make you better mm. so yeah. uh, but some people just it's a lot of hate <laughs> <laughs> So you need to be careful like uh what gets to you and what what is just um it's just me I hate and what is out there that's going to actually help you to grow and build yourself. Mm-hmm. So everything is not uh, uh everything should not be left out and everything should not be completely in. Yeah. Yeah. So we are um creative guys do you think uh we are um we are in a place where you say you know, you say oh okay we have made uh, we have made like a reasonable progress like from the let's say from the last five years until now if, if, even if you're not that active as an artist you've been around you and you've been observing you've been seeing what has been happening around do you think we have like make a significant headway yes of course of course a whole lot wow. a whole lot we have um i think was it last year i was traveling to abuja mm. and i saw this um what do you call it now is it billboard with bios's picture on it mm. i just screamed in the car <laughs> And I remember, I think I called wow. someone. I was like, oh my God, BLC, I know this guy, I know this guy. He's from Bauchi State. <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> it was wow. crazy. I was so happy. I was like, God, this is awesome. It's beautiful. And while I was in school, I heard a lot of people playing music from that, that came out from here. Wow. And I was really impressed. I was so happy. And you know now, I have to... <laughs> claim that i know these guys they yeah. are my people <laughs> yeah yeah i was so impressed so um five years back to now 
I think we have made a huge lot of progress. Personally, I have. When it comes to music, I have. Mm. I, I know I've grown a lot, yeah. a whole lot. The way I was doing music back then is quite different from, from now. now. Yes, there's so much energy in it. There's so much um, goodies, goodies, goodies. That's that's yeah. nice. Uh, in the next five years, what what do you think could actually happen if um, everything plays out like well? Well. That's uh, 2025. We should be taking over the music industry. Wow. Yeah. The wow. entertainment industry. Is it only music? Because I, f- uh, I think we need to also uh, pay like um, a low attention to other sectors. Yeah. Because obviously there are people that are into like um, movies. Yes, yeah, yes. I know a couple of guys that actually into movies and yeah. they're doing pretty well yes yes and um maybe maybe dance too yeah and then uh comedy I, i'm not seeing a, a lot of comedians around though but i think other other form of entertainment should actually be given uh should be given like a look People should actually pay attention to them too and support. Yes. It's not only music, because if we are, if we have like uh, people doing well with uh with the movie, people mm-hmm. doing well with like um dance, people are doing well with comedy, and then we can have like a a big event that can house everything, and then it becomes more entertaining. Yeah. Not just the music. Yeah. Other stuff should actually come in too. Yeah, that's true. What's the biggest challenge you've had, like, as an artist? Time. Time? Yeah. This is so strange. This <laughs> challenge is so strange. <laughs> <laughs> this challenge. Pe- a lot of people say, a lot of people say, uh, money. Money, money, money is the biggest challenge. So many people say money. Other people like uh, females, mm. females, um, um, well, okay, I'll just get back to this. Because right. it's, it's a whole, it's a whole big gist on its own. Okay. Time. How does time actually affect your creativity? Time has because, um, I get restrictions. Hmm. I don't get, okay, when it comes to a time that I have to work in the studio mm. and sometimes I have to go back home mm. probably cook some meal at home mm. and I won't get the luxury of time to sleep over in the studio to mm. finish my work and all of that you know even if I can go out to do something it should just be for a short period of time mm. I know I have to go back home so that has been a whole lot of challenge yeah, if I have the luxury of time I know I will do a lot mm. I know I will but I don't have the luxury of time I don't have that freedom to say of mm. time mm. to do whatever I want to at any time and all of that now um, there's, there's money s- has not been a challenge to me Sha. Mm. I don't have money uh, but I've had, I have good people with good hearts, with big hearts, mm. that are ever ready to help. Wow. Yes. That, that has actually launched me into the next thing. <laughs> 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 now, uh, now, now, last year, mm. I did a song, mm-hmm. Fucking Issues. I don't mm-hmm. know if you heard about the song, but I did a song, mm-hmm. Fucking Issues. I was having a conversation with a lady. Mm. A lot of people don't actually know the story behind the song. I had a... Uh, a conversation with a lady and um the lady was asking me uh okay i was rather asking the lady she i know she was an artist mm. and if i if i just know any lady as as an artist from here mm. i'll be so worried about her and her progress because i've not seen like so many ladies mm. and then if i see anybody i'm just so so keen on seeing the person doing well so i was like what's up you've not put out any music in a minute mm. what's happening and then the lady be like um she doesn't know how to explain like but she's she's really tired of everything 
and she's just sick i'm like what's what's the problem i'd really actually get her to be comfortable to talk yeah because i really want to know what's what's up yeah and then she couldn't even type because we're actually texting mm. and then she just sent me a voice note mm. and then in the voice note she was saying everybody wants to like sleep with her the producer wants to sleep with her the artist mm. that actually uh she wants the future and someone wants to sleep with her mm. everybody that have like the power to actually help in a way mm. must take advantage of everything mm. and then get her to live with, with them mm. i was shocked <laughs> i've heard like gist of stuff like this actually happening yes but i was not really like paying so much ad- attention to that yeah and i don't even i didn't i didn't actually felt like it's something that could actually happen to us mm. like it's so around us mm. so when she said that i actually i like 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 pause and i was thinking i say that's probably why all these girls are vanishing hmm I was so disturbed and I just told her to let me use the voice note. I want to do a song about it. Mm. She said it's fine. Mm. I could use it. I see nobody's going to know. And I'm not going to tell anybody. She's the one that actually mm. sent me the VN. Yeah. She said, "No. I should I shouldn't if let them know." <laughs> <laughs> I just understand that <laughs> this is actually hurt because yeah. I was broken like mm. for a minute and then I wrote a like I wrote a verse I think that night I wrote a verse and then because I have like a setup okay. please I stay I have like a setup so I yeah. just recorded it and then I sent it to her like raw to listen when she was already mm. asleep so she didn't get to listen to the song mm. that night okay. but the next day she did and i told her that this is how the song is going to do uh come out but i'll have to record it again because i just recorded it like mm. raw and she said it's fine i should do it so so um i was still skeptical about it because i know it's gonna it's it's probably going to be uh a win or lose mm. like it's going to cause a lot of trouble mm. i knew it So I just I just uh I was willing to let it slide. And then the next day another lady hit me up and she was uh she was asking me that she's a fan. She was asking me. Yeah. I've not put out music in a while. I'm like, yeah, that was true. But yesterday I actually recorded a verse and this is what the verse is about. And the lady goes like, "Wow, that's the story of her life." You can imagine. I'm like what the fuck is going on? <laughs> This is sad. So she 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 started telling me she said she she, she wanted to uh, share a story with me. Okay. And that story I'm actually going to put it out like I don't want to tell you right now but I'm going to put it out on wax. Okay. Like so she 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 actually tell me a story. I'm trying not to tell you the story now. <laughs> until I put out the you song. Just have to. No, I'm not going to tell you the story, <laughs> but she told me a story that uh that actually took me back to the song. Okay. Because it's about an, another person like same entertainment industry, yeah. but then not not actually music, but then other people actually actually taking advantage of people mm. to 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 sleep with them because those people are actually in a position to help yeah. and then in exchange they want to take and some of them actually aren't going to help but they just want to take advantage mm. of the whole situation yeah. i was so worried too and i'm like <sighs> i was willing to let the song go but i'm like now what the fuck i call um uh one of my uh, friends that uh, actually ha- has a studio too mm. and i told him that i need to record a song but then um i want to do the song when nobody's around okay i told him i want to do a song when nobody's around mm. and then um i went there very late Clo- i think it's it was around 12 
a.m. Yeah. Wow. I went there. I just recorded the song. Nobody was there. And then he walked on the song and he sent it back to me. Mm. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm going to put the song out. I just mm. put the song out. I just put the song out. And then it became a problem True. on the street. People were talking. It's like um, everybody had it in mind. Okay. Nobody just knew how to approach it. Whoa. So a lot of people now started speaking up. A lot of people were like uh, saying I was referring to different people. They were calling names and okay. stuff like that. And mm. actually, I don't really know shit. You can this imagine. is what I know is what I just told you. Yes. That's the whole thing I know. Yeah. And the, the second lady that was telling me uh, her experience, yeah. she was she didn't mention names to me. Mm. I told her I don't want even I don't want names. I just want the story. Don't mm. give me any names. Yeah. So, people were talking, people were talking. What I just do is the normal thing. I just put out a song. I just put out a song, like a normal song, but I, I didn't know it was going to actually liberate people and, mm. like, mean something mm. like that. So, I just put out the song, and I wanted to do, like, a second verse for the song because the song was not complete. Okay. So, but the way people were reacting, I'm beginning to like, whoa, 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 whoa. There's a problem with the song. And um, I'm not just going to do it because uh, it's a bit trendy. I want to take advantage of the situation and just put out. So, I need conviction, like, to do it. Okay. So, I was so relaxed. And then people started hitting me up. And corporate uh, bodies started hitting me up about the song. Yeah. Because they actually thought I knew what was going on yeah I, I knew enough and then there's this uh, human rights uh, organization that actually hit me up and they were like wow. if I can actually get these people um, mm. this people because one of the person um, that actually worked with them is my friend okay so I was telling him the story because we, it has behind the scene yes so I was telling him okay this is this first story this is the second story this mm. is what actually pushed me to put out a song like that mm. and he f- and he was like if I can actually get these victims of this situation yeah. to talk they're going to take it serious from the office I'm like no <laughs> 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 I just, it's just music I just, it's music like I'm not trying to see anybody go to jail because of this stuff I'm like yeah. no so since from that point I didn't talk about the song again mm. I didn't even I didn't even share it again That's let sad. it just go I think I've passed my message <laughs> I'm not trying to see anybody go to jail but then but that's tell you how powerful music could be yeah. and and then this need like to to speak up just need to like make music that that actually um that is real and actually affects us so when you say you actually make a song about emotional trauma that's actually happening <laughs> to you or to other people like it got me because i think music should be about that yeah we cannot sleep in the club all the time yes some people actually need to make music that is um that other people actually can actually um learn and then relate to yeah so much talk (laughs) (laughs) this is a much needed conversation i wish we can like go on on and on on and on on. Um, that's why we have to to we have to do this again yeah, we should. Yeah. Because there's so much to say. Maybe when your EP is out. <laughs> okay. Maybe when your EP is out, we All should. Right. We're going to hear like a lot of emotional stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Says who? Uh, it doesn't have to be. Okay. Maybe not not that, but about other stuff. Yes. Okay. Yes. We are <laughs> expecting it soon. Yes. Even though we don't know how soon. Yes. <laughs> but it's soon. <laughs> <laughs> well, we need music, Sha. Sure. Yeah, of course. All the time. So, um, thank you for coming to Culture Talk. Thank you. Elma Pleasure Star. Is mine. I love your name. Thank you so <laughs> much. <laughs> thank you very much. See you, you um next time. Thank you. I hope it's sooner than soon. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you guys. See you in a bit.